Glenn, plenty saying that um, either this fight goes down the same way as the first one or Jeff Horn <laughs> knocks Michael Zarafa out early. Is that the plan to go out there and blast him? Yeah, the plan is to win the fight. That's the plan, win the fight. Okay, however we do that. We can box it, we can fight it, we can, how if can he wants to get it, down Glenn? and dirty, we can do it, whatever Glenn, he wants to do. How can you box do. it? How can you, go, how can you box it? He's got no IQ like Zarafa. <laughs> Come on. He's boxing. I'm being serious, mate. His boxing right. skills nowhere near Michael. He's one of the most skillful boxers what's, in this what's, country. Yeah, what's what's Michael? He's a, an electrician. What, what are you, Who? Michael? You Michael. know, Jeff's, Jeff's a school teacher. He's a smart guy. What's that mean? Do you, you don't make school a quarter final in the Olympics. You don't win no, three no. national titles hey, in Asian the we don't care and make a quarter final. Hey, good on him. Should. Good on him. Boxing he skill. Good boxing on IQ. Him. It is boxing IQ. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it takes. To get We're have you been to the, the Olympics, Jeff Horn. He won't be any more improved. He'll yep. be fitter. It doesn't matter. Boxing IQ. And this guy has lifted another level. But you can say what you want. I, I don't know think what I'll see. Hey, we'll see. We'll see on Wednesday night. We I don't we believe will. that he will. I don't think he can. I think he trained like a crazy man for that first this, fight. This kid I trains like a crazy think. man all the time, even yep. when he's not fighting. And I don't think he can He can go any better. I think yeah, he, he, he delivered Mate, his I'll best. I'll tell you now, his boxing knowledge has lifted another level. I don't think so. Even I'm surprised. I'm surprised you know. my trainers, we're all surprised how much he has lifted. All the little fine points, well, he picks it on. He's a very good student of the game. Okay, so whatever he's done, just understand that Jeff's done that threefold. So how, how? you'll see that. Well, he's going to come fitter. Big deal. Michael's okay. for plenty of fit men. You will see on Wednesday right. night. Right. You will see. Okay, just you've got a lovely seat there ringside. You'll I enjoy do. it. You'll I will see enjoy it. it. I will, and definitely. on Wednesday night, you will see a completely different person in front of you. You're going to see a beast. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's not, I don't know whether it's Beauty and the Beast, but, you know, you're going to certainly see a beast come, come beauty. pretty boy and the beast, let's call it that. But you'll see it all on Wednesday night, and there's going to be a significant difference. To Jeff Horn, Jeff, just sitting back and watching it all unfold, uh, how do you feel about things a couple of days out from this fight? Look, I'm nice and relaxed at the moment. I'm just let, letting everything fly, uh, letting the mud hit the walls at the moment. It's, it means nothing till we get in there, and Michael knows that as well. And we're both smart guys that we know it's what happens in the ring is what matters, and this doesn't matter, but this is just the excitement build up before it. And um, yeah, I'm excited. There has been a lot said, though, between both sides. Anything that stuck out for you that maybe you're looking to turn around to get a bit of revenge about? Uh, look, I I just want to win the fight. That That's the main reason. That's why the rematch was instigated as well. I wanted to do this again. I think I, I can do a lot better than what I did the first time, and I'm here to prove it. What do you make of the comments that have been made just now about your boxing IQ, about you not having the same sort of ability to read a fight and to adapt that Michael Zarafa does? Look, I've had plenty of experience in the boxing world. Um, I'm a London Olympian. Um, Look, I've, I've I've been in boxing for a long time, and I, I know a lot of lot of, lot of stuff about boxing. But obviously, they're going to shake their head. They're not. They're going to say, "I know nothing. I can't change my style." But um, my style works, and I'll prove that when it comes Wednesday. So it works. Used to. How's your body feeling physically um, this time around as a middleweight? This fight is again taking place at middleweight, but you you seem to be in different shape. Yeah, I, I'm I'm good. The weight is not an issue. Um, look, we, we tried to get him to come down in a weight, but he was smart enough to, to decline that. But um, I'm sitting probably around that 72, 73 kilos right now, so I'm not going to stress about making weight at all. I'm just going to come in nice and strong, and I feel like a welterweight me is going to be a lot stronger than what I had last time. Obviously, you're confident of winning this fight, but there's already been some mention in this press conference of this potentially being your last fight if you were to lose it. Is that the situation as you see it? No, not necessarily. Um, I guess we're always going to just see what's the, the next step in the, in the road and uh, we'll see what happens. So um, I don't plan on losing, though. So what happens differently in this fight? Why do you win this time around, whereas you lost in Bendigo? Look, I'm just hungrier. This isn't like a, a step to the world title that I was getting offered to last time. This one is Michael Zarafa. He's proved himself. He's an absolute warrior. Um, he, he stopped me in last fight. Uh, but I, I feel like I've got a lot more to offer and I want to show that to Michael. Thank you, Jeff Horn. To the man who won the first fight in Bendigo, Michael Zarafa. Does it feel a bit different here to what it did, the atmosphere around that first fight? Do you feel a bit more the outsider here in Brisbane? Not at all. I'm just hearing the same thing all over again. 
you know, I'm going to win, I'm going to do this, I'm a lot fit. I'm like, obviously, he's not going to come out in, in social media and say, you know, I feel like this and I feel like that and I I'm, I'm feel like crap. And obviously, he's going to sit there and his team's going to sit there and pump him up. And but like I said, like I said, you know, the skill, is, you, your boxing IQ, he doesn't have what I have. You know, I'm a middleweight. I'm, I'm strong. Every, I've got reach, speed, power. I've got everything. You know, everything's in my favour. And I, I've told this to him and I've told this to his team. And now, like, for me, I, like, I want to end Jeff Horn's career. Like, now it's, it's beyond – it's a must win. It's a win for me. Like, I, don't, I have to win. Obviously, you want to win the fight and that's the, the boxer's mentality. But why specifically do you want to end Jeff Horn's career? Because he's not at my level. And when I hear this kind of talk – it just, it's just, it's funny. It's actually funny. But um, let, them, let them say what they want to say. Like I said, I'm here just to, to all the talk stops. You know, Wednesday we go out there and, and we do it all over again in, in better style. There's been a bit of back and forth between yourself and Jeff's trainer, Glenn Rushton. Um, do you feel there's pressure on Glenn in this fight? 100%. You know, I mean, he made a, a stupid decision last. I think he always makes stupid decisions. But, you know, that's just my personal opinion. So... You know, he's got to look out after his fighter, like, like Blake, you mentioned. Jeff's a fighter, he's a warrior. And every time I say that, I say, I take nothing away from Jeff. Jeff's done what I want to do. Um, so full credit to Jeff, but, you know, his team, I don't know. They're, uh, yeah, no, I don't really understand them. You're fooling yourself. <laughs> yeah, limited yeah, IQ. Exactly right. Limited yeah. IQ and I beat Jeff. Yeah, you'll see. How many fights That's have you had? That's all you say. You'll see. You'll see. Yeah. You'll see. You also said you will not I've been watching all Cumberland. your fights for a very said, long time. And it didn't pay, did it pay off? Did it pay off? You know? Did it pay off? Answer that, no. answer that fucking question. One, Did it pay one off? One fight. One fight. Mate, please. Kick back and enjoy one yourself. One fight. Like I watch said, show. watch the yep. show. Have watch a coke and a hot dog. Or Don't worry, I've got a ring seat up. too. We look forward to it. And it's going to be a great fight on Wednesday night. Be a different fight yeah, to the okay. first one. Okay. Jeff, you've been watching it go back and forth over your head there a little bit. Do you have a response to everything oh. that's just been said? They've been fighting, I don't know. I'm sorry, I've just blanked out for a little bit. Mate, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff would be double the athlete without his team. Yeah. Or without, without Rushton. Not his team, his team are wonderful. Rushton. Rushton doesn't know a thing about boxing, man. Have you heard him talk You'll in see. the corners? Oh, come on, man. Kick yeah. back and enjoy yourself, please. Just wait on... Let's have a conversation after Wednesday night, Michael. All right, we will. Let's have another okay. chat. Oh, we will. We will have another chat. Okay. And if I turn we'll on you, then that, that's on you. That's okay. All right, sweet. Yeah. That's okay. You're welcome to. Yeah, I will. How does it finish this fight, Michael Zarafa? I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to knock him out. That's it. I'm going to knock you and your team out. That's it. You're not a middleweight man. You're not, you don't have my power. I'm going to knock you out. I'm ending your fucking career. That's it. <laughs> laugh, laugh. Response, Jeff? No response. I'll respond with my fists in the ring. Well done, Jeff. <laughs> if there's... Not at all, not at all. Like I said, they, they, they think I'm overconfident, but not at all. It's made me hungrier. Like they, they say you can't get hungry. You can't. I've trained double as what I did the first fight. Mentally, physically, I've done everything double as well as I did in the first fight. I'm hungrier. Like I said, Jeff's stopping me from bigger and better things. He's stopping my, my moving forward career life. So for me, it's, it's a must win. And the only person that's stopping that is Jeff Horn.